Hi everyone, I'm Nancy Newman and this is GMC's Nets Post Game Plus. The Nets and Wizards faced off in the nation's capital on Sunday night. Both teams epitomize what the Eastern Conference is all about this season. After the three top clubs, all the others are floating at or below the 500 mark. Let's check out what happened at the Verizon Center. After holding a six-point lead at halftime, the Nets were dramatically outplayed in the second half. They lost by a final of 104-89, to dropping their record on the season to 9-12. and So now... Taking a look at the leading scorers, Vince Carter poured home 30 points too shy of his season high. And Jason Kidd, 92nd career triple-double. 13 points, 13 assists, and 10 rebounds, but not nearly enough. As six Wizards scored in double figures, led by Karan Butler with 28. Let's hear from the Nets head coach, Lawrence Rank. The second quarter, though, the blueprint that you need that you didn't carry over for the whole game? Yeah, but the game's played in 48 minutes, you know, so, I mean, it's it's being able to carry that through as much, as close to 48 minutes as possible. You know, you're not going to play great for 48, uh, but we have to play a whole lot better for longer stretches to win. Were they doing anything specific, getting the ball out of Richard's hands? That's different. Uh, well, they doubled both Richard and Vince and forced some turnovers. Um, you know, we, we've been doubled before. You know, the game at Portland, double teams, and, you know, we're getting wide open shots. It just, just comes down to the decisions we make and the execution uh, in terms of taking care of it, filling behind the ball, uh, finding open gaps. Um, and, um, you know, but you have to give them them credit because they they definitely were the more aggressive team the second half. Eddie came out and had a good game plan. They, you know, switched and denied, you know, most of the of the uh, most of our cut plays. And then anytime I got something on the block, they just double teamed me. You know, and also I had some good looks at the basket. This is the first game in probably about 200 games I didn't shoot a free throw outside of a technical. You know, so. Man, it was you know it was one of those nights. You know that's just how it goes in this league. You play long enough, you gonna have some of those nights. But you know to not shoot a free throw, and I'm not questioning the referee's calls. It's just you know you didn't get the benefit of the doubt. You know pretty much any time, at any point in time tonight. You know. And, were you, were you what? surprised Richard on that call on the technical? I mean, was it a taunting call? Was he in your face? It didn't look like he said anything or really did anything. What did he do? Uh, as far as I'm concerned, you know it was a nice play, but. There's probably about 32 questions that you could ask better than that one. You know, I don't, I don't know. Uh, no, I, I, I don't, I didn't evaluate it. I'm just the one that shoots it. So, you know, you have to, might have to look at the tape on that one. With you your know. lack of free throws, especially frustrating considering they got 18 alone in the third quarter. Well, you, that's what I'm saying. You look for consistency if that's what they're calling. You know, and you know, a person that you know is known around this league for consistently attacking the basket night in and night out doesn't shoot any and the opposing team shoots 20 more than you do you know but again I'm not you know we had three very good officials out there tonight you know you're not questioning any of them you know sometimes it just goes like that you play the lottery you know or you play you know you play cards enough a couple of nights the cards aren't going to go your way no matter if you even if you play the percentages so um you know that's just the way it went tonight um it was unfortunate I, I really thought we were going to come out here and have a good effort which we did early uh, we just didn't do uh, a good job in the second half. The Nets are back in action Tuesday night when they play host to the Los Angeles Clippers. Our coverage on Yes begins with the pregame show at 7, followed by tip-off just after 7.30. I'm Nancy Newman, and we will see you next time on GMC's Postgame Plus.